Hey everyone, today is Thursday, June 25th, 2020, uh, 10.33 p.m. The market has closed. Let's take a look at the market. So yesterday, um, I talked about that uh, this market, I mean, I've been saying that we we couldn't penetrate the 31.45 level and we are, uh, we came down trying to find more buyers and today we found more buyers. Yeah, it consolidated a little bit and now we're consolidating at this area. So you can see that, um, let me just zoom all these drawings. This is basically the structure we need to watch out. Uh, I'm not a big fan of using all these lines because the market is way more random than that. But since we have a, st a potential structure, we should uh, take notice. So right now uh, we, we found a bunch of buyers here essentially at this particular level, right? And now we bounce out, we, we consolidated, so we attracted a lot of buyers, a lot of people have bought in, and now the market took off a little bit. But now, you're kind of hovering around this particular level. You can see uh, this level is a major interest, uh, level interest. And in my opinion, I don't think we're gonna break out to the upside, that would be too easy for the long term to the uh, to the to the bulls to the to the buyers and i my my order didn't get filled today still so i am still expecting this to come down maybe to this particular level okay and uh, then then it's probably going to potentially touch this line then it's going to make that bottom and bounce off to make a new high. I think that's probably going to happen tomorrow. On Friday or on Monday. Uh, so that would be the structure I'm looking for. And uh, it looks pretty illogical to me. Anyway, so that's what I expect. So let's take a look at the cryptocurrency market. Uh, Bitcoin today... Basically, yesterday, uh, Bitcoin came down uh, and uh, overnight it was pushing towards, you know, the bottom of this structure. And now it bounced off. It found a lot of buyers here and it bounced off quite rapidly. It barely touched. It couldn't stay here for a while. It couldn't stay here for even more than an hour and it bounced off, right? So we're still in this range. We're still in this range. And we're, we are, in my opinion, in my belief, is that it is accumulating energy over time. And the longer we stay here, the, the more f f uh, ferocious the upside is gonna be. It's, it's gonna be a very quick uh, run to the upside. Probably only gonna take, you know, September, let's see, this one's September, December, probably only going to take a month or two for this to double uh, if, if the move does happen. And let's take a look at Ethereum. It just the waiting time is uh, really um, t testing our patience. Um, I am in a lot of uh, forums. I'm monitoring a lot of forums, monitoring a lot of chat groups and all that stuff that talks about cryptocurrency and people have been relatively quiet these days. The it, you can see that the market is really, really quiet. A lot of people are losing patience. People stop talking about cryptocurrency. People stop uh, even hoping for the cryptocurrency to go to the moon. Uh, and there are qu actually quite a bit of bearish sentiment out there, thinking that this is probably never, we're not gonna, keep gonna see any big move until you know 2022. There, there are a lot of people saying that. And uh, the, the market's just gonna stay, stay dead until you know 2022 2023 uh, years from now and that is usually the time where um, the market has set up for a bigger move because the whales are quietly accumulating over time they've been accumulating since december 2018 and it's been two years and uh well almost two years and that is enough I think that's enough for them to accumulate it. 
And I would say most of the cryptos right now have 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 been falling into have fallen into the hands of uh, very strong holders, very strong hands. So if you look at Ethereum right now uh, and Bitcoin, Ethereum is also exhibiting this structure. I mean, this is not uh, some technical analysis, just a logical looking at the price. You can see that we are, um, I was expecting the Ethereum, like this particular move to break out of this structure to make a to make a high. So I wasn't really thinking this line, it would be a resistance line because the support resistance is really vague in the cryptocurrency space. You can see that uh, they get broken all the time. They don't really, they have some uh, use, but they are not, they, they don't get respected completely. But you can see that here, uh, this particular move basically validates that this resistance line is some something that the whales are looking at, and uh, they are selling at this line. Uh, some of the at least the people who are trading Ethereum, when they're using this line right now, they're selling when the price goes up here, and uh, you know the the so the price probably going to try to hit this line a couple of times, and uh, just like Bitcoin, there are uh, two scenarios. Uh, one is that we keep hitting this line and we couldn't go through it. We have to come down and find more buyers. Around what level? Let's see. We can, I, I would say that the buyers, we need to come down and find more buyers around this particular level because you know, a lot of uh, action has been traded around this level. So we probably have to come down and accumulate, uh, attract more buyers, more energy, and then we go up. Or we, we this is a consolidation box and the longer we stay here and we just gonna break out from this point and uh, by looking at bitcoin bitcoin has a very different structure you can see that bitcoin actually has already broken out of this particular uh, downward trend line you can see that because the ethereum price follows the bitcoin so i think that if the Bitcoin is going to break out, Ethereum is just going to follow. So this, this scenario where it came down, accumulated, looking for more buyers, would be very less likely given what Bitcoin is doing right now. Because for Bitcoin, it's telling me that, it's telling me that uh, it has already kind of broken out the resistance. It's just accumulating the energy above above this uh, downward trend line and uh, it's going to uh, break out very soon just a matter of time just a matter of patience honestly uh, really if you go to sleep right now wake up six months from now you're going to be very happy with your portfolio if you have uh, some of the bitcoin ethereum i do recommend holding ethereum i think the the, the magnitude is going to be higher than Bitcoin, but uh, the Bitcoin will be a more a less volatile hold than Ethereum. Regardless, uh, regardless of what you're doing, uh, you you should be owning some of these assets. Okay, and that's all I want to say. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.